and just like that, baby, we officially live on the official Wado podcast, back with another interview. This will be Ladies Night, but we got one of them, okay? An alumni of the show, alumni of Ladies Night Round 1. Welcome back, Zayna. How you feeling tonight? What up? What up? What up? I'm feeling good. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Okay, it's a great night. If anybody didn't know, if no one told you today, I hope you having a great day. I hope you having a great week, a great month. And matter of fact, bitch, I hope you having a great life. I haven't said that in a while. It feels good. Zayna. We are back live in the studio, FWMB Studios, beautiful. Welcome home to the new home of the show. I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to get right down to it. A lot of people have shows these days. You know, we see a lot of uh, guy-girl convos, sex talk, relationship talk, all this one-sided bias talk. That's not what we do here. We're going to let you speak your piece. I'm going to ask you some dope questions. We're going to get down into it. Zana, you already know I got the wide old shades. I'm ready. I'm ready to rock. Here goes. Zayna, let's break it down. All right. Got a couple of segments for you I wrote down. You already know once we get talking, we'll just go off the fly. Let's get it. All Zayna, right. in 2023, who do you think is the prize? The high-value man or the high-value woman? Um, honestly, I feel like both are the prize. Um, I feel like this generation does not... Um, think of the other sex as the prize, but at the end of the day, I feel like you should treat the person not as if they're the prize, but as if they're the one. There you go. Because, you know, a lot of people are ending up alone because they think that they're too good for a lot of shit, and it's like, you need to humble yourself because, one, people are just people. Yep. Everybody makes mistakes. And two, like, you don't know what the future holds for that person. They might not be the prize as far as what women are looking at nowadays as far as, like, money and they have this and they have that. And he could be working at Target and then next thing you know, he's a millionaire. You don't know. Or it could be somebody that, you know, she's not the baddest and she's not this, but she might have a good heart, a good spirit, and that might that might be what you need. So I wouldn't necessarily say... I would say both of them are the prize. And the only reason I bring that up because I feel like the, the standard is, the classic standard is the girl's the prize, the female's the prize. We do all we can to get her, get one. Once we got it, we got her. You know, that's our prize. That's our baby. And I just feel like a lot of guys or a lot of girls have taken advantage of that. And now, obviously, we're going to talk to Zana here. She won't talk for all the females, but she's going to do her best to represent. I just feel like a lot of girls, Zana, you tell me if I'm wrong, have took advantage of that. I'm the prize. And they don't really do anything to make their self valuable other than their looks and what they can offer in bed. So I agree, but I also disagree. Yeah, you got but to. I agree because, and I don't think like most females, but I do agree because a lot of ladies are like, oh, I look good. And I think what they confuse as being the prize and having pretty girl privilege is two different things because you can be pretty and you can be privileged and guys will want to do stuff for you but that's not going to make them want to wife you right or make you right. the mother of their child so which actually i go back i do believe women are the prize because we have a whole and I, just to be clear i, I do think they are yeah. but i think the men have to value themselves a little bit more to, to correct day. and i feel like a lot of men don't value themselves either Um, So you can't expect a woman to value you or respect you when you don't have that self-respect either. And same for women. Um, But I do, I don't think that they've taken advantage of it. I just think that they don't know the difference. Gotcha. Now, Zayn, in the talking stage, okay, I'm still learning about what the fuck talking is, all right? But in the talking stage, Uh how often do you need communication? In the talking stage, I wouldn't say that I need a lot of communication. I just feel like, you know, like checking in, hey, what's up? Like, you have to understand that that person still has their own life and you have your own life. So once you've come to that, like, okay, like they still got what they're going on because I'm not a priority in their life yet because we're just talking. It's not like we're dating or we're getting married or engaged or anything. Um, I will say um, no call, no show, though. Uh, it's a big flag yeah i would say at least once a day like hey checking in on you hey what's up because if you're interested in somebody they're going to be on your mind you're going to want to talk to them right so like hey what's going on like have a small conversation i'm not saying you guys need to be on the phone 24 7 i'm not saying that you guys need to be texting 24 7 but like allow them to have their life outside of that so communicate a day but like i just also think that um 
communicating to the point where you're like, hey, just so you know, might be a little bit busy. Or also having your mind set to the point where you're not getting pissed that they're not texting you back because you understand that they have their own life Mm -hmm. um, is also very important. But being like ignored or feeling like you're ignored also, I I think I heard that it was scientifically proven that it's like getting hit, like your mind feels like you got hit by a bus. Like that's the impact that it has of being ignored by somebody. So I'll have I to check should, that study because I mean, huh? buses are big as fuck, man. I mean, I don't know, but I, I feel you. I mean, I've been ignored. It ain't that no it bus. Don't, but it, close. Right. Close. 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 If it was the right person, it would have felt like a bus. I wish. <laughs> yeah, it was the right person. I can tell you. Now, don't forget saying <clears throat> to look at both cameras and oh, look up for you. Good. Now, I want to ask you same thought because it's always a battle with the communication early. Right. Should I hit her up? You know, she wants me more when I don't hit her up as much. I can't seem like I'm needy. It's always a battle between it for guys, maybe you guys. I want to ask when the girl stops responding, how long do you think it is for we sh- till we should know she lost interest in me? Um so when the talking, okay. Let me just get this clear. In the for me in the talking stage it's like a getting to know, we're talking, but we're not like we're not dating. We're talking. We're getting yep, to know each other. Last time she revealed, you know, there's no cheating in the talking there stage. We got that clear. We're moving on. A- absolutely. There is none. But I also feel like there's no way to know if somebody's, like, not interested in you if they're not responding. You know what I mean? It just depends on the response because they can be having a full-blown conversation with you and not be interested. Yeah. Like, you know? Um, or they could be like, they could enjoy the conversations and not be interested in going any further with that. So I think that's just, it just depends on how long you're going to wait to ask. Yeah. (laughs) So like a couple of days, I, she might still like me after a week. She, she, I'm out of here. You know, you don't know what she has going on. So, you know, like. You don't know what she got going on her in her on her mental. Okay, no timetable on it. Zane, I want to ask you, there's a lot of things that men do that go unnoticed. Right. That we don't bring up, we don't say. What things do you or women do that go unnoticed? Like, for example, if we take you to dinner and we have $100 to our name and the bill's $60, we will probably pick that bill up and not say nothing about what it was. That's a little unnoticed thing right. that men do. What things do you guys do that goes unnoticed? I'm going to have a couple of them. I won't want that response right there. I want her to think and not know. Yeah. Okay, we're doing it for the men out there. We back. Because <laughs> um, y'all loud about what y'all do do, okay? We know about what y'all do do for us. Hello. What goes unnoticed? Um, I will say sometimes maybe a lot of females don't talk about the things that they are going through, but they're still trying to, like, be there for their man or you know like Mm -hmm. there's certain things that a lot of um females may not speak on where it be like maybe she's on her cycle and she's not feeling good she'll voice that she's on it but maybe she's not voicing how like not good she's feeling or how sick she's feeling from it and she'll still go out of her way to like go and do something for her man or like make sure that he's okay um damn i don't know Hey, because y'all get pretty and you let us know you got pretty. <clears throat> and if we don't know, we don't let y'all know you got pretty and you look pretty, we're in trouble. No, I would. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, a, different, that's just I'm one a different thing. breed of women. So like yes, anything is anything. If even even if I know that I look good, then I don't really need that. Validation. Even for yourself of all, uh, you know, any guy that you've been with, yada, yada. What things did you do for them that they didn't know? Um. There would be a lot of times where, like, I'm not one to be like, oh, my man pays for everything. So maybe I was spending my last and he didn't know right, just right, to, like, exactly. play my part. <clears throat> um, a lot of, well, I wouldn't say a lot. Everybody that knows me knows that I bust my ass when I'm working. So sometimes if I'm, like, not working, like, I'm taking that day and I'm spending that with my man, like, that's valuable time to me. Maybe that I, I feel that that goes unnoticed because when I am busy, it's just like, oh, you're always busy, you're always busy. And when they finally get the time, I'm trying to like. He's getting that valuable time. Yeah, and I don't think that they know how valuable my time is because like right. that's me taking away from like my own personal time where I could be sleeping or doing some self care stuff that I'm spending with you. You know, yeah, being with the cats. You know what I mean? You never know out here, Zayna. I right. want to ask you. <laughs> 
as an independent woman, I've dealt with it. They like to be put in their place in the right way. You know, they do their role, but they enjoy that. Right. When is it okay to try to put the girl in their place? I think if you rush it, it could backfire on you. When is it okay for them to try to put you in their place? Um, I think if it... I'm not really <laughs> big on, like, arguing. Any... I used to be. I used to be very big on arguing, but I'm not big on arguing anymore. Like you anymore. like to? You enjoyed it? Not that I enjoyed it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna argue my point so you can understand where I'm coming from. Gotcha, gotcha. Absolutely. Gotcha. Um, but I think like an argument that she thinks that she's right, put her in her place, let her know that she's not. Um, How early? A week into talking. Once we start dating, a month oh, in. Oh no, like, no 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 no! Absolutely not. <laughs> How early, <laughs> Zayna? We need to we need to know. Oh, this is for the fucking audience. I don't know. So this is my thing. Because I can't tell you how early. I really don't know. Because the right person is going to put you in your place without you knowing that they're putting you in their place. Gotcha. So I feel like as an independent woman and somebody that I'm, I'm going to stand on my point, I've had sometimes where like, the man's been like, really? And I shut my mouth real quick. And yeah. I'm just like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sometimes just, they want that shit. I'm just like, okay. And maybe the first time you do it is like a, a, a click. Yeah, the first you time know? you're just like, who the fuck does he think he's talking to? And then the second time you're just like... I can get used to that. Right. Okay, then. And then the third time you're just like, you know what? All right, man. What? <laughs> See? We're learning steps. This is an educational show. Zayna, a lot of people like sport bettings. got to put the shades back on, okay? We're getting right to the goddamn over and under. Zayna. This is a little game, over and under, okay? okay. I'm going to name you categories. You're going to tell me over or under five. Okay. More than five or less than five, okay? Times that you have slid into someone else's DM, more than five, less than five. Whole career. <laughs> like I initiated you it? You slid in his DMs. Less than five. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Times that you've been rejected. More than five or less than five. Whole career. Keep it honest here, less Zana. Less than five. God damn. <laughs> all right, Zana. Been blacked out drunk. More, oh, than, more five than five or less than more five. Than five. <laughs> more than five. We're Probably okay. We're on the ten. board. <laughs> How many times have you gone out to eat slash the movies alone? More than five or less than five. More than five. More. Yeah, I'll go out by myself to eat in the restaurant and eat. Maybe not the movies because I'll go to sleep, but I've gone out to eat by myself. I think it's powerful. I like it. You kind of see where your, your surrounding is. You know what I mean? Things slow down. You enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk. You could just eat and enjoy your food. Yeah, I've definitely gone out. Get to know your goddamn self, okay? Yes, 2023. that's important. Zayna, how many times have you seen your man cry? More than five or less than five times? Mm. Uh, maybe five. Five? Yeah, maybe five. More than five or less than five? Have you been cheated on? More than five. More than five. Yeah. We got to do better. All right. More than five or less than five, Zana. Have you called an ex while drunk? Whole career. Less than five. Less than five. Yeah, nah. I'm, I get blacked out, so I'm not calling nobody. <laughs> <laughs> she gets past the point of call the ex straight to blackout. What? Okay. Once you get to that point, you just drink a little more. So you don't even get there. Zayna, final one. More than five or less than five, have you been disappointed in bed? <laughs> more than five. Ah, <laughs> shit, fellas. Come on now. I was not ready for that. <laughs> hey, no one is. That's the Wild Podcast. You come in. You got to be prepared. Zayna, what's the best place and the worst place you've been on a date? Strictly location. Location. The best place that I've been on a date. Um, like where we went to? Mm -hmm. Doesn't um, have to be too specific. You could say on the water, on the beach, at a, you know, whatever. On the beach. Nice. It's always a good vibe. Um, worst date? The worst date you ever walked in on. I don't think I've ever been on a bad date. Never. No. 
Hey. I don't think I've ever been on a bad date. You got to keep it real. I like it. It's a real one, Zayna. Who should the man go to when life gets hard and he's going through tough times? We talked about it on the show. We'll ask you again. In your opinion, where should the man go <clears throat> when things get rough? Um, if you're my man, I would appreciate it if you came to me. Just because, like, nobody's... The people that you're going to go to, nine times out of ten, you're going to voice your opinion or you're going to voice what you're going through. And your homeboys probably are not going to help. And you don't know at what extent I can help. So I would say me, um, the closest um, like mentor that you have that actually helps you. And then, but first and, first and foremost, God, pray. Because... Mm -hmm. Um, what I've learned over these past couple of months is I've actually stopped talking to a lot of people about a lot of my problems and I started praying about a lot of my problems or like talking to like somebody older or like a mentor that I look up to. And, sure. you know, I feel like um, we live in a generation where it's always like the people around you and I'm not saying me, but like there's a lot of people around that are surround you. Not that you surround yourself with, but people that are surround you, they don't want the best for you. So you just have to be careful. And I feel like if you're going to a mentor or God and your girl or like somebody that you actually feel is going to help you, then you can't really lose at that point, can you? You can't. No. The only reason I ask that is just because, um, you know, a lot of, or maybe I should do a double question. Do you, when you see your man vulnerable, what does that do to you? Do you lose any respect for him? Does the, you know, obviously you want to look at your man as the tough guy that you go to that protects you. Do you, when you see him vulnerable, does that do anything to you looking at him? Um, so personally, I don't like seeing my man be the tough guy. I want him to be able to be vulnerable with me because like, if we're trying to rock it out and we're trying to get somewhere, like I'm all you got. Like, if we decide we're going to start a family, it's me, you, and our kids. Like, that's all we got. Like, we have the outside family, but in our foundation, it's just us. So I want to see you vulnerable. I want you to be able to come to me. I want you to be able to cry to me. Like, as a woman, like, we're born to, like, nurture. And as a man, you're born to provide is what it's, you know? And how, if, if I'm allowing you to provide and you're not allowing me to nurture you, one cup's being filled and my cup is empty, so... I would actually prefer my man to be vulnerable and speak to me. Right back at it. Okay. Zayna. Yes. Appreciate you coming as always. Of okay. Course. We on the Wido podcast live in effect. I appreciate course, you. I want to ask you, when someone likes you, okay, this uh -huh. is for all the dudes out there. I'm trying to save us out there. Okay, boys. <laughs> when someone likes you, but you don't like them, what do you do? What are your go-tos? A lot of girls will keep that motherfucker going on just to have somebody on the side. What do you do, Zayna? Um, I'm okay. Thank you, though. You tell them. Yeah. I'm not going to have them waste their time. I'll be like, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, let me take you out. And I'll be like, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Oh, I want to get to know you. No, I'm okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate the interest. But, like, I'm not going to, you know, I don't. I don't ever want th somebody to think that I'm too good for a conversation because a lot of females make it seem that way. And, you know, you don't know who some like what somebody's going through. That's the biggest thing. You don't know. So you don't know what you ignoring or, like, rejecting them or, you know, just being an ass to them. Even yep. though they don't know you're being an ass, but you know you're being an ass or being petty about something because – or stringing them along. So, like, I try to nip that in the bud as quickly as I can. Um, well, salute to you for that, because I mean that's just that's awesome. Yeah, I Most just don't. Most girls don't, I don't do that. The karma is real. <laughs> I karma is real. I am not. Um, I just don't want any bad karma. And also, like, just because I'm not interested doesn't mean that like somebody else won't be interested. You don't know how you respond to somebody. You don't know what it would discourage them to do. So like, I'll just like, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. And I'll keep telling them, no, I'm okay, thank you, though. Right. I appreciate the interest, thank you, though. I'll keep responding, like, no, I'm okay, thank you, though. But once they get the memo, they kind of just stop. You should know <clears throat> You yeah. should know at that point. You tell me if I'm wild and saying, I've told girls, you know, I'll be honest, like, I'm just not in a place I can be available for you emotionally. But uh, 
you look good. We could definitely do whatever you'd like. And they either take that as, all right, cool. We're out of here. You know, no emotions. Or they're like, well, I just got out of a relationship. That's perfect. See you Tuesday yeah. at 8. You right. know what I mean? So I think it's just be up front. Don't yeah. lie to them. I'm never going to lie and say, yeah, I love you, baby. Yeah, I like to date you, and I don't. Oh, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Just be up front with it. And like I said, I've had girls, okay, cool, we're walking away. We'll just be friends. Some are like, all right, cool, I'll see you Tuesday at 8. And we go from there. So it's like, be up front, people, regardless. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm more so like, I'm, I'm just leave it at that. Like, I'm okay, thank you. Because I appreciate it, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that you're interested, but I'm okay. I'm good. When do you know and what assures you that someone likes you and someone loves you? Um, I think for me, I can't speak on all women, but for me, I like to be included in like the person that I'm speaking. Like I like to be very included in their life. Yeah. So once I feel like they start including me in like the things that they have going on, mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, you kind of like me. Wow, you invited okay. to the spot, yeah. make a room for. Yeah. Okay. Or like even you're just like, oh, I got this going on. Or like if I'm the first person you want to call when something's going on, you know? Yeah. Like those little things, I'm just like, oh, yeah, they vibe with me. They I just like look that. at when they go out of their way. If yeah. someone goes out their way, you tell me a line from my show or something. I'm like, the only way you knew that was if you just, you looked it, you know, or right. researched it or, or went out of your way to try it. Or she when they might remember like, like me, the dog. little things, you know? Little the little tiny thing those things mean so much <laughs> they mean so much or like if um i bring something up in a conversation and they bring it back up i'm like oh you were listening you know so now <clears throat> zane i want to ask you another question to represent yourself and the uh, females so okay. guys we have to put in a lot of work to be able to be worth dating a high value woman or even getting a chance with her you know we got to put in work meaning we're disciplined we can we're responsible for ourselves we look well we smell well we're not scaring her away. A lot of things you got to put into work. Mm-hmm. What do you have to put in work? What work do you have to put in to be able to be worth a good guy, a great guy, besides just looking good? Um, I really don't use my looks as a, like, oh, I'm worth it, you know? Um, I have a really good mindset and a very good vibe, so I feel like keeping that vibe up as far as, like, the energy that I'm giving off is important. Like, that's important to me. Because, you know, like, if they, a man is going to treat you based off the vibe that they get from you. And I want my man, my man to be like, okay, she has a very good vibe. When she walks in the room, she's going to lie. Like, I want that attention. Like, you know, like, not because I look good, but because you can feel my energy coming in. So I try to keep up my energy. Like, always try to be positive. Um, Especially now, I try to be very positive. Um, as far as like morals and mm-hmm. self-respect, um, those are things that I definitely have to keep up with because hygiene, right? Hy- I feel like hygiene is very important. Um, so it's a vibe, pretty much what you're saying. Like yeah, Janae, you know, it's a vibe. I'm a vibe. She's bringing the vibe to the <laughs> table. Bring, okay, guys, we're okay. bringing a lot, but she's bringing the fucking vibe. Listen, I'm one to be like, listen, I am independent. I got a good vibe, a good personality. I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm if you're not cooking, I'm not cooking. I can cook, but I'm not cooking. I'm not about to So sit. you need him to cook a little something for dinner. If we're going to take turns. One's going to do the dishes, one's going to cook, and we're going to switch. Because just as much as my man might be working, I might be working just as much. And I'm not going to come home and bust my ass and do this when I'm working just as hard as you're working to build up an empire. So, Zayna, what's the best thing you bought in 2023? The best thing that I bought... Best thing that you bought? In 2023? Oh, man. You're asking me some good questions. You got to put them on the spot. <laughs> and I don't let my guests know the questions prior to sitting down. That's another rule. You can't know. Um, The best thing that I bought in 2023? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She can we come even, back she, to this question? She can, we will come back okay, to it. Okay, because I, I don't even Can you tell know. me the favorite place that you've been this year? Jamaica. There we go. Um, yeah, Jamaica. Real bad gal things, okay. Mm-hmm. It was a good vibe over there? It was a really good vibe. It was very nice. I was with my family, so it was great. 
All right, Zane, we're going to do a little speed round. I don't know if you saw this. We're going to go back and forth. All Female right. artists. Snow Allegra. Taylor Swift. Janae Aiko. Wow, why would you say that? That's Kilani. My That's my bad. Who? Kilani. That's a good one right there. Yeah. Eve. Nicki Minaj. Cardi B. Ashanti. Megan Thee Stallion. Fuck. <laughs> Clot running, baby. We good. Um, 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 why can't I think of one? When the clock's on, it, it, shit gets tough. Christina Milian. Who? Christina Milian. Lil yeah. Jojo. Throwback. Christina Aguilera. Damn. Mariah Carey. Missy Elliott. Alicia Keys. <gasps> Fuck. I'm back. TLC. Fantasia. <laughs> <laughs> you did. American <laughs> Idol. We back, baby. Selena Gomez. Celine Dion. Miley Cyrus. Whitney Houston. Shh. Um... Um, <laughs> Destiny Child. I'm really out here, Beyonce. Be Beyonce. Okay. Um. You gave it to me. That's an alley oop right there, Zayna. Maxi. Wow, Max Kayla. <laughs> Shout out to Max Kayla. Okay, I see you right there, but I'm not playing no goddamn. Okay, games. go ahead then. Cash Doll. Doja Cat. Remy Ma. Why can't I think of her name? This is hard. We're going to go to two minutes. It's two? For my edit. Yeah, just get you some time. Um, and I can't repeat any, huh? No. I don't even remember who we said. I got a couple loaded, lined up, ready to go. How do think you think about these things? You I just think all, I just you think, had all these time to think about this. I just think category. Yeah, I've been waiting on you. and I get a lot of time here. Uh, Glorilla. Glorilla? Yeah. Glow? That's a good one. Ashanti. That's my baby. I already said that. Did you? Yeah, wow. sure did. That's tough. Yeah. That's really tough. So go ahead and do it again. Cassie. Um, Lil' Kim. Lil' Mama. Damn. <laughs> and my lip gloss is popping on here if y'all can't see it. <laughs> SWV. She's got 10 seconds left. Zayna, can Ten? you get one? Why can't I think of none? <laughs> I'm back. I'm done. Nobody? I don't got nothing. My whole head went blank. And I'm going to drop on, you know, Reba McIntyre, Shania Twain, uh, Carrie, uh, Carrie Underwood. And I would, you know, I thought about her artists. and I couldn't think, I, country I couldn't think what I about her last with. name. Now we're going to go Animals. Oh. I should be out of my league here, but I think I'm just too quick with it. Okay? All right. Does and it matter if it's just any? An animal. Okay, fine. It's your shit. All right. This is. This is just shit. But now it's cat <coughs> is one. That's it. That's you know oh, what I mean? I can't you name a breed. Nah, you can't. I don't okay, even. Fine. Yeah, I don't even know no more breeds besides cat. I guess calico is that a breed? Yeah. Okay, cool. I know one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That, here we go. We'll give you two minutes. Dog. Cat. Shark. Raccoon. Elephant. Turtles. Lion. Monkey. Tiger. A butterfly. Bear. An ant. A fucking eagle. An eagle. A hawk. Falcon. Okay, but I thought we were. I thought bird was bird. Oh, you want to just do bird? I guess. I guess. Okay, okay. they're only birds, right. unless it's like different kinds. All right, bird. That's, okay, a duck. Turkey. A chicken. Penguin. A pig. Who? A pig. I like a pig. I like a pig. <laughs> Caterpillar. A cow. Nah, that's a fucking insect. Hold on, I need an animal here. J uh. They make babies. They're elk. an animal. An elk. Elk. A gazelle. A zebra. A coyote. Ah, oh, man. A wolf. Hmm. Okay. A badger. A, sn a eel. I said eel? Ant eater. Oh, oh. Ant eater. An ant eater. What about a manatee? Gorilla. Okay, fine. That counts. I'm back now. I just got to go. <laughs> to desert, jungle, water. You know what I mean? You got to put your head somewhere. A rattlesnake. A raccoon. I already said that. Did you? Yeah. Possum. Okay. Get out my goddamn trash, boys. <laughs> um, a panther. A um hippo. A rhino. Mm. Mm hmm. A cheetah. Hmm. Interesting. A dingo. One of us worked at a veterinarian place. What? A what? Okay, well, you told me that a dog is a dog and a cat is a cat. We hey, only nah, see cats I, and dogs. I, you want me to start naming uh, breeds? I mean, hey. 
What yes, I say? will. Who'd you say? A gazelle? I don't remember what I said. I think I said... Huh. Seal. Did you already say a whale? Nope. I said it. Otter. Oh, they're cute. Sometimes. Um. Hmm. A mouse. We'll go to 230. Mouse, I got you with a a a Komodo dragon. A bunny. A bunny. <laughs> a bunny. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Bird is just a bird, huh? That's fucked up. Well, you can name other birds. Armadillo. Um, a fennec fox. A rat. Okay, fine. I'll let it pass. A ferret. A deer. An alpaca. Mongoose. A llama. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say it like that? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. We got to stop animal because it's going to go on for too long. We got another speed round. This is going to be states. U.S. Uh, states. I just, it's been a long time since I've been in school, Zana. <laughs> you feel comfortable with states? No, but let's go. <clears throat> you know, if you've seconds. already done this, you pro- you probably have. We'll just. I used to do this just as fun with my coworkers, just shooting the shit, passing time, just just fuck it, speed round. All right, let's you go. want U.S. states? You ready? No. But Ninety seconds. Let's go. Here we go. Florida. Utah. Alabama. Colorado. Jackson or Georgia. <laughs> Mississippi. Fuck. California. Iowa. North Dakota. California. South Dakota. North Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. New York. Maine. New Jersey. Ohio. Texas. Wyoming. Vegas. Where? You only get two mess ups. That ain't a state. You get another mess up, I win. Let's go, baby. (laughs) Nevada. (sighs) Texas. I said Texas. Damn, my bad. Okay, okay, my bad. Hey, you know what? Louisiana. Could be World War Three next door. You never know. It could yeah. be dice. Hey, fuck it. 50 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Where you at? Is in the know. U.S. states? I can't think of any more. Um, Ohio. I said that, but. Okay. Um, a couple islands, somewhere cold. I'm trying to give you hints. I can't think of none. You got me. It's what the clock does. Hawaii, Alaska, Nebraska. Just you keep going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oregon. Oh. Illinois, I need to, Connecticut, um, Maine, Vermont, Delaware, that. New York. Is that, I already said New York. Four seconds. Ah, shit. Take New York back. Give me uh, Arizona. All right. And we're going to finish it with that because what the hell? I need to go back to school. <laughs> Janae Aiko songs. Let's go. It's a vibe. I need to order it in my head properly. Um, Ways. Summer 2020. Blue Dream. That might be where I fall off. <laughs> Damn. On the Way. Pussy be. Fairy. Um, <clears throat> bed Peace. I got nothing. The Worst. I got nothing. <laughs> Ego. Something with Big Sean, but I got nothing. I got nothing. Fuck. London nothing. Bridge. New Balance. Frequency. You want me to keep going? You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. You got me. It's been a real one. I want to ask you again. If you stuck on an island for one month and can only listen to three artists, who would they be? Janae Aiko. Uno. Got three of them. Just okay. on an island. Um, we can throw Drake in there. Drizzy. Yeah. All right. Um, and my last one, mm, Kehlani. Kehlani. Yeah. Shout out to her. Zayna, as you know, why though, why is my name, my name's been fucked up all types of ways through <laughs> my life, sideways, up, down. Oh, you want to talk about How many times have yours name, has your name been fucked up in your career? My career? Whole career. Zayna. A little t- What have you heard? Um, Exhana. Zena, 
um, Exania. Wow. I get that one a lot. Or sometimes they don't even say my name. They'll just be They're like, Miss Golfin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't even give an attempt. <laughs> Damn. Uh, I had an English teacher fuck up my name. An English teacher. Wow. Yeah. He pronounced That's the A. That's supposed to be her yeah, specialty. Was... I had a sub legit put W-H-Y space I-T-Y it. Like no. she was asking a question. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to his ass. He I didn't. I don't think he made it too long. I don't think it was a sub. I don't think he made it too long. Yeah. He had like a water bottle in his backpack through a tube. It was bad. Shout out to him though. Oh, wow. God bless. Well, Zayn has been so real. I appreciate you joining the of show. Course. Any last words before I let you get out of here? I know it flew by. It did. That was quick. That That's was what we do. Speed quick. rounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? Puts you on the spot. But we covered a lot here tonight. We covered a lot. A lot of great knowledge. A lot of great things. Information yes. for the homies, for the girls. Um, my last words is you guys just stay beautiful and stay at peace and stay true to yourself. And before we get you, you, we can't leave you on a question you, you know, you, you couldn't answer. Zaina, what's the best thing you bought in 2023? <gasps> the best thing that I bought in 2023. And I'm going to add some cool ass little sound effect music. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the best thing that I bought in 2023. That is so hard. I don't know. Um... Okay, this is going to sound um, crazy. Well, actually, so I have cats. So you know that. You do have cats. I'm allergic to them. but I didn't know that. <laughs> an air purifier is probably the best thing that I bought in 2023 Damn. so I could breathe. See? Smart. Yeah. Smart. <laughs> I, I even asked it's her, what the, if the dude's got allergies? Man, she's already ahead of you, dog. Yeah, You're going you to have to accept it. Yeah, you got to either you going to get with it or get gone. Get with but it. it get I have gone. an air purifier, so if you have allergies, there's allergy medicine and an air purifier. You're fine. Yeah. Zayna, can you tell me what the strongest bone in your body is? These are fifth grade trivia questions. Not the biggest, but the strongest. Maybe it's the same thing. I don't know. Um, I'm going to say my skull. <laughs> your skull is the biggest bone in your you body? You said strongest. Oh, yeah, you're right. And then I, I doubled down. I tried to give you a hint. It's the femur, which is also the biggest. That is your strongest. Skull could be, though. You got a skull. I mean, skull. some people get Zana, knocked in their fifth head. grade trivia. Okay. What's the center of a cell? Are you... A nucleus? <laughs> You got to be confident in yourself, Xana. You got it. Let's go. Can you name me three states with three A? Three. Can you name me three countries with three A's in their name? Three A's in their name? That's correct. Countries? That's correct. United States of America, I'll give you one. It's got three A's in the name. Can you give me two more? You know, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Got her. Um, she thought we were going to be talking sex positions, all this bullshit, pop <laughs> trivia. Now, nah, where the fuck, where the country's at? I did at? not think that. Where the country's at, Zayna? <laughs> Three A's. I don't know. The same red pill, blue pill bullshit show like these other fucks. Where's the countries Who's with three A's? Who's taking red pills and blue pills? You know, like, I don't even going to say their names. Fuck all them lame weirdos with the shows out there. But I just feel like they're biased. They come in trying to put some chicks down and shit, give advice to men. I'm going to just make the fucking clear. If you don't got a wife at home or if you don't have your shit all the way, all the way, all the way together, don't I don't want no advice from give you. Advice. I don't want advice from you, dog. If you don't got a real wife at the house, don't give me no advice. Don't give no advice to the dudes because you just talking about your story, right. your situation, what happened to your sorry ass. Sorry, Zan. No, I agree. So this show is all about you. I might not agree. I might, whoever this is, but it's about you. I'm never going to be yelling at you trying to say you're wrong. I'm never wrong. Right. Well, I ain't going to say that, but okay. you entitled your opinion. Let's let her hear it. You know, somebody <laughs> might agree with her. Ass. Let's go. Y'all let them know I'm not wrong. I never. might be. Not even once. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'll be wrong. Oh, uh, I know you didn't just pull the glasses down I just had to me. check because you speaking no, for a lot okay. of them. And sometimes they're I, never wrong. And hey, we got to agree. She's never wrong. I might. You know, you just got to give him one of that. 
I'm not wrong. I'm entitled to my opinion. Okay. <laughs> She's entitled to her opinion. This is Zayna. This is the official Waddle Podcast this 2023. Stay tuned. We're going to do a ladies' night in person, Zayna. I'm glad I got you here oh. as one of the alumni of round one. Yes. Shout out to Caitlin. Shout out to Avi. It was awesome. We're going to have ladies' night round two where you can bring some friends. You'll have a little Yay. bit of female with you guys. We'll do segments, break it down. And I'm going to bring some of my dogs. I got back up with me this time. It's okay. not just host Wado. I got the fellows right here with me holding it down. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. No, are y'all ready? Let me not clap. Are y'all ready? Be careful. Are y'all hey, ready? <laughs> I'm going to play this clip once we do it because she can't be nervous when it comes down to it because I'm going to bring some steppers in here and we're going to break it down. Zane. Just make sure your step is stepping though. Make sure my steppers <laughs> is stepping. That's an alert to y'all boys. I'm make bringing this sure to you, okay? We talked about stepping. who's the prize. It might be us, Santa, but it still might be y'all. We're here to debate it. Let's go. 2023. <laughs> it's your boy, Y-D-O-E. We out.